Um, am I going the right way? No, I'm not. Hello my fellow weirdos. Uh, today we're going to be doing something a little different. Um, so one of my favorite games other than The Sims, of course, is Pikmin. Um, I have loved Pikmin since it came out. As you can see, my icon on my Switch is a little Pikmin. And I have little, my, my little ears here. They aren't quite Pikmin ears, but they always remind me of Pikmin. But I'm going to load the game and I might pause this because I'm going to turn down the music so that we uh, don't have any issues with that. But I'm just so excited. I'm playing Pikmin. My, my flowers aren't going around. There they go. Yeah, that one's really floppy. I need to add like wire to it or something. Make it stand up more. It's, yeah, it just flops over. I'll just hold my head like this and then I'll look like a Pikmin. Okay, so I think I worked out. The music is a little bit quiet, but hopefully I can change it when I get into game. All right, we are doing story mode with one player because it's just me. But yeah, I've been waiting to play this game for a really long time. I mean, not really long because it really just came out like a couple weeks ago. But um, yeah, I have I had to like I had to remember how to set up my capture card like I it's been so long that I've played on my switch so and then I had to like plug in my switch and let it sit for an hour um okay I am Captain Olimar I command a spaceship called the SS Dolphin this is the story of how I crashed onto an unknown planet if you're familiar with the series, he crashes a lot, and how I was ultimately rescued. Who knows if we'll actually rescue him, because I don't think I finished the other games. I'm not a game finisher, I just play until I get bored and quit. Or I get stuck, usually I get stuck. After the crash, I woke up to find my ship was in pieces scattered everywhere. I had no way of returning home to my beloved family. Aw, he's so sad. I thought I was doomed. Until I found an onion. Oh gosh, I so miss this. I love Pikmin so much. I'm gonna have to remember how to play. Uh, until I encountered a strange species which I named Pikmin. Which is really funny because my initials are P-I-K, so there you go. The Pikmin had an innate desire to carry or move objects. With their help, I was able to find and transport my missing ship parts. Oh, and there's like a dog here too. Time passed and I met yet another mysterious creature. It appeared to be malnourished. Oh, so we gave him a bone! So I tossed over a treat. After that, we quickly bonded. Let me take my headphones off because I can't hear anything to see them anyway. She was a steadfast partner in the quest to find the missing pieces of my spaceship. My voice sounds weird without my headphones. A quest that was nearing its end. I hope you guys can't hear the... I have an alien show playing in the background. Uh, we arrived at the last area we had left to explore. Oh my gosh, we're in a house. What is this place? Oh my god, it's my bedroom. No, I don't have a seat like that, but I would love a seat like that. This is so cool! I did not know. I didn't know anything about it. I just heard it came out, so I didn't look into it or anything. Uh, something out about this area is different from the others we've explored so far. Wait, where are you all running off to? Or just where are you running off to? Oh, they're hiding! They're jumping on a pillow. This is so cool! Are they gonna push that over? That can't be a good sign. The Pikmin don't usually scurry off like that. I suppose I'll have to call them back while I search for the missing parts.
okay, so look ahead is ZL, which is what? This one? Uh, this, one. this is ZL, right? That's not looking ahead. I move with... Oh, okay. Oh, there we go. I have to hold it and look. Right is to look around. First, I need to look for the peak Pikmin. Alright. Why is he not going fast anymore? I wear some over here. I saw some of the pack Pikmin head this way. Okay. They could be hiding behind those things. Let's break them and see. Okay, so I gotta ram the dog into it. When we jump, I'll start charging up my pup's strength. Alright. I just need to press X and hold and hold down and then take aim when she's at full strength they let go and let her rush all right so i hold x down oh, 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 oh. all right i have to <laughs> i'm so good i'm so good at video games okay look ahead move I have no idea how I did that. <laughs> Pikmin! <laughs> like, I don't know that. Okay. Aha! I knew it. Now I'll use the B to call them back to me with my whistle. Oh, and they ride the, the dog! I just wish I knew why the Pikmin ran away and hid in the first place. Hmm, I better make note of this in my voyage log. Board and log. You never know when this kind of information will prove useful. Now, how to phrase it. When I arrived in this area, the Pikmin started acting quite strange. They flew out of the onion and immediately hid. I can't... Oh, okay. Yeah, well, I already know all that because it just happened to me. I need to find my missing ship parts. It would be much easier if the Pikmin helped me. Alright, so... We currently have five red ones with us. So if I hit this button, he goes faster, wait. A donk. Okay, and then I B them up here. Alright. I'm gonna jump. Oh, please don't die. Okay. Oh, cool. Alright, but it does say to throw the uh, Pikmin up there. Oh no, maybe it doesn't. I feel like this dog is going slower. I can't wait till I know how to play this game and then I get better at it. I wonder what's behind this. Let's rush with X and check it out. Okay, if I can see where I'm going, that would be helpful. Alright. I need to face that way. I have no idea what I'm doing. Let's get them down with a rush. So this is basically just teaching me how to rush. 
I love how they all just ride on the dog. It's so cute. I just want to go faster. How do I go faster? like a bad guy. A creature. I don't see any ship parts. Could that thing have swallowed one whole? Kind of looks like it. Alright. Those spiky things are going to make this tough. I have to find an opening. Oh, so I'm going to rush it. Okay. Maybe I should use the axe to build up energy so we can rush the creature when the time is right. Alright. In the meantime, let's circle and wait for our chance to strike. Y yeah, that's... sure. Oh my gosh. Keep moving, keep moving! How do I move faster? Oh my gosh, I don't know what I'm doing. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Oopsie. <laughs> That's cool. We didn't want to battle that guy anyway. Did we leave some up there though? Probably. I don't know how to get back up there. I don't have to go all the way around. Well, that's how I throw them. I don't really want to throw them though. I just want to walk faster. Check the area with R. Oh, look at that. Wow. Wait, was that? Oh, no, that's grass. Alright, I did see some over in this direction, too. There's a bunch jumping over on shelves here. Oh, look at that. Oh, they're playing in the fan. Could those pigmen be playing? Yeah, that's what I just said, Olimar. I feel like I'm doing the walking wrong. Oh my god, I left Pikmin over there and they killed it. That's awesome. This back of my possession, I can finally call for help. I don't know how that happened, but there you go. I love how the saving, like you can't see it, but it's a pea with a flower in it. And my name is actually Patty, so I used to sign my name P Flower because I go by flower too. I had recovered the interstellar radio, so I immediately sent out an SOS signal and attached the latest version of my voyage log. Days and weeks passed, but one month later, my signal reached the rescue corps. Oh my gosh, there's a bunch of them. They took off toward this remote planet with the noble plans to bring me home safe. And then crashed. <laughs> Doesn't say that yet, but I'm sure, pretty sure it's gonna crash. Unfortunately, fate had other ideas. Yep. 
Rescue officers sent to rescue me crash landed during their arrival. Oh, they all went in different directions. Double shipwrecks are rare and extremely unlucky. Unlucky. At this point, you might think that all hope was lost. But there was one last rescue officer left at Rescue Corps HQ, a rookie. You. Oh no, that's right, you are my last hope. No, I'm not good at being people's last hopes. I'm very bad at video games. Following emergency protocol, all officers were directed to evacuate the spaceship immediately. Finding a dispersed rescue course is now your priority. Create your ID badge and deploy immediately. Cool. Uh, oh, awesome. Okay, first of all, um, if I can figure out how to move this. Um, what kind of hair? Oh, I only get to pick. Oh no, definitely not him. How come, like, sometimes it'll move and sometimes it won't? Oh, there we go. That's better. Nope. I don't want him. It's like switching back and forth. Okay, I'll take her. Um, I don't want that. Ooh, I like this one. I think I'll take that one. Or this one? Oh no, definitely this one. Alright, and the hair is definitely going to be this one. Because that's the way I like my hair. Little ponytails. Uh, and we're definitely going to do green. Oh, I do like purple though and pink. Alright, we'll do purple. Ugh. I don't know if it's because my thing is dying or, um, or what. Alright, well that went back. There. We'll do purple. Alright, and then the outfit, we'll do green and, or uh, should we do blue? Pink? I do like the pink. And do your name. It's already in there. Uh, ready to deploy. My home planet is Carrot. I think that's where they're all from. <sighs> oh, don't I look so cute? This is so cool. You get to be your own character. Not only my fate. But the fate of the rescue corps. Oh, this is making me dizzy. Um, rest in the hands of one inexperienced adventurer. No crap. I'm really bad at it. I'm really, really bad at video games. <sighs> Once I get to know like the the controls, it should be better. But also my um my controller that I have. My controller is not charged so I have it plugged in right now all right so now we're outside and there is my little puppy I think okay so we move with the left oh my god I gotta figure out a way to move faster than this it's so slow oh wait that I don't know this little button down the side helps. Aww, he's so cute. He's so cute. Watchy from the planet Gaia. This young loyal rescue pup is one of an elite breed of space dogs that's long served the Shepherd family. This is his first mission. Aww. Yay! You encountered the Rescue Corps' rescue pup, Owachi. The remaining six re rescue officers are still out there somewhere. Alright. Owachi is trying to tell you something. Well, if I could make it over there... Okay. Oh my goodness, it's a person. You found someone in need of rescuing. So do they all have pink suits now because I put on the pink suit? Okay, so how, how do we get over there? Okay, so now we're learning everything again. Um, A, descend. Oh wait, oh, I need to whistle. Oh, come on now. Oh, he did it. Oh, he's pulling. Oops, sorry. Let me get out of the way. Good job, rescue dog. Great dog, Oachi. Alright, let's send him to get the guy. Oh, the girl. 
Oh, how you can even know, feel that through the glass? Or, mm, mm, mm. Is that you, Watchy? Is it a guy or a girl? I don't know. Thank the stars, I wasn't sure that my SOS signal had reached HQ. So you and Owachi found and rescued me together, huh? That's actually quite surprising. I've never known Owachi to listen to anyone other than our captain. Oh, I should probably introduce myself. I'm Colin, communications operator for the Rescue Corps. All right, um, so he is Colin. As the Rescue Corps comms operator, he handles communication for his fellow officers. Plus he's handy with a wrench. That's awesome. Phone comms operator Colin. I feel like I don't need to read these. Oh, well, I'll do it anyway. You met up with Colin, the Rescue Corps' comm operator. That's one down. Now, where could the other rescue officers be? My path got cut off by a small landslide, and when my hunger became unbearable, I decided to nap to preserve my stamina. You are our latest recruit, right? It's Flower, isn't it? I couldn't be more grateful to you for rescuing me. As I mentioned before, I was the one who sent out the emergency signal. The rest of the corps, the rescue corps, well, it was a rough landing. We entered the Plydenus atmosphere and lost control of the ship. I'm gonna say, oh no. Oh yes, I've spent days sleeping out here in the rough. There were six officers on the ship, but we were separated when we ejected from the spacecraft. We came here to find Captain Olimar, whose own ship had crashed, only to suffer the same fate. It's almost embarrassing. Eh, well, you know, it happens every game, so I guess it's not that embarrassing. I've confirmed that our spaceship, the SS Shepard, landed somewhere over there. But I couldn't reach it on my own. Now that you're here, maybe we can find a way to it. Um, and if we're lucky, we'll come across a few stranded rescue officers along the way. Oh, before I forget, take this. It's an official Rescue Corps tablet. We use them to share information. Thank goodness I always carry an extra. Tap up on the left side there to open and review your missions. Wow. Oh, look at how cute I am. Uh, you can use this app anytime to confirm what tasks are priority. I have some other handy apps to share, but I'll install them later when we have a moment to rest. For now, just remember that you can always tap up to view missions. But if you press minus and select shortcut settings, you can assign different functions to each shortcut button. Oh, okay, that's cool. Rescue the Rescue Corps. That's my main mission. You met up with Kyle in the Rescue Corps' comm operator. That's one down. No work at the other. Oh, I already saw that. So let's go, um... Let me go here. Wow, look at that. That shows a lot of stuff. Alright, well, we'll figure that all out later. Um, yeah, I just want to get out of here. Okay, now then, let's find the SS Shepard. Alright, let me see if I can do something real quick. Wow, she walks really fast now. I can't even keep up with her. Oh, there's the ship. The SS Shepard. Well, she landed pretty good. Um, you know there's something familiar about this area. I remember something. It's just up ahead. Let's go. Alright, so let's go ahead. And now she's walking slow again. Oh, she was going really fast. Oh, if I go diagonal, she goes really fast. I just have to always go diagonal, I guess. He's like hopping. Um, this way? Ooh. That's it. See that big hole in the ground over there? If only we could find a way there, then we could finally reunite with the SS Shepherd. Uh, okay. It's impossible to get over the ledge. Use R to find another route. Well, I mean, there's this thing over here. We could send the rescue pup to dig. If she'll go there, geez, OP. There's something under that dirt. Wow, he digs with his mouth. That's a bit, uh, dangerous. Good pup, Wachi. You're making easy work of all that dirt. 
Almost there. Yay, it's a sewer! Um, you can see why rescue pups are the rescue corps' pride and joy. Huh, this looks just like the other hole we saw. Well done, Watchy. Uh, I wonder if these two holes are somehow connected underground. Uh, it looks pretty deep, we're just going to have to dive right in. For real? Rescue officer must act with courage in the face of any danger! Though it does look pretty dark down there. We have lights on the tops of our heads, it shouldn't be too bad. Alright, let's just go. Whee! We like to jump into sewers! Burrow of Beginning, sub-level 1. Information and exploration related topics will be shown here. Oh, okay, cool. Wah ha <laughs> to make my own sound effects since I had to turn them way down. Message log. Hey, what is it, Watchy? He's trying to tell us something. Perhaps another rescue officer is down here. Um, let's look around. There's a light over there. Let's go over this way. Looks like a dead end. It does look like a dead end, but it could be not a dead end. You never know. Wow. Like, I don't understand what makes her run so hard. If I pull backwards, then it's like she's walking backwards. But I want to look forward, and then when I look forward, she goes the wrong way. But if I pull backwards, she goes really fast. I just can't see where I'm going. Oh, goodness. I see the person. Alright. Um, they're clinging for dear life up there. What a place to find the captain. That terrified individual you see over there is the captain of our rescue corps team. Look sharp, flower. The captain comes for a long line of rescue officers. I was not done with that. There is no time for a history lesson. Hurry up and do something. Oh, she cut him off. That's why I couldn't read it all. Alright, well, I guess we're going to have to send the dog in. One more. Good dog. Good butt biting. Alright. Oh, she's gonna come down on her own. Phew! Now we can relax a bit. Captain, we took care of the creatures down here. Can you get down? No. We're gonna have to send the dog up. I hope so. My arms are almost numb. I've been hanging on for so long. Okay, I can do this. I was going to say her hands are stuck like that, but everyone's hands are stuck like that. What's your status, Colin? Are you okay? Shouldn't I be asking you that? I'm just relieved to see that you're alright. Uh -uh. Oh, you. I haven't seen you since rookie training camp. I'm Captain Shepard of the Rescue Corps, if you don't remember. Did you order Watchy to get rid of those creatures all by yourself? Uh, yes I did. Watchy's not supposed to obey anyone but me. Guess that rookie training paid after, paid off after all, didn't it? You know, the first time I saw you in training, I had a feeling you'd make a top-notch dog trainer. Uh, 99th Gen Rescue Corps officer. She was saved by a rescue pup as a child, sparking a lifelong love for her fur colleagues. Found Captain Shepard! Yay! We found Captain Shepard. With the captain here, it feels like there may be some hope for us after all. Yay! Okay, sorry to interrupt, Captain, but uh, what were we doing down here anyway? While exploring the surface, I discovered a suspicious hole. I leaned over to take a look and fell right in. I wandered around this cave trying to find an exit when I came upon those icky, slimy creatures. Hang on, did you fall down the hole located near the SS Shepard? We entered this cave in an attempt to reach that very opening. Well then, what are we waiting around here for? Let's get back to the SS Shepherd. Copy that. Uh, is something wrong? You didn't say anything, Flower. Copy that is the Rescue Corps way of saying understood. Let's try saying it together, okay? Uh, copy that. <laughs> I'm sure you're just nervous. This is your first official mission after all. It'll all come naturally soon enough, don't worry. I don't like to do what people tell me to do. That said, you need to review the Rescue Corps Rescue Journal for your upcoming missions. It's essential to our work. Okay, 
So let's go ahead and I think I can probably close this. Um, okay. You'll be able to access them via your tablet as the need arises, so put them to good use when out in the field. And there's actually a smash jar over there I just noticed, so maybe we'll have to do that. Since watching and you have bonded, I officially approve of your partnership. I'll be observing you both to see what skills you have as a rescue pup trainer. Alright, um, I was just gonna say, we gotta go smash those jars. Alright, X. Good job. That was quite a rush. It was quite a rush. Love how they just hop behind her. So like I noticed if I go any other way than forward, I can go really fast. So if I go sideways, it goes really fast, but then I can't see where I'm going. Um, but if I go forward, I go really, really slow. I remember this area. I'm gonna go this way. Oh, that's a steep drop, isn't it? We don't want to go that way. Not that it matters. Okay, so that's where the SS uh, Shepherd is, I believe. There, that's where I fell in. My word, to think you survived a fall from that height. Um, I kind of think we just did that. Maybe it was a lower height? I don't know. But more importantly, how are we supposed to climb up there? Um, well, obviously this machine here is some kind of machine. So let's send the puppy there. Does he do anything? No, he's just sniffing around. Um, we just press A to exit, but I'm not ready to go yet. I want to explore some more. Yeah, I guess that's it. Oh, it's a vent. We Gah! I'm saying we and he's saying gah! Okay, press X, plus the hold X down to use Wachi's rush technique. He can shake objects loose and break things on impact. Okay, yeah, I kind of knew that. I mean, you kind of taught that to me the very beginning little playthrough thing. Am I recording? Yes, I am. I love Pikmin. I don't know if you guys love Pikmin, but I love Pikmin. Aww. Excuse me, flower. I suggest you exercise a bit more caution when any encountering something unfamiliar maybe just don't touch it yes but how are we supposed to do the game i completely agree though in this case your impulsive behavior did get us out of that cave okay so now we're placing that all right captain the rescue corps flags has officially been planted now for the status report on all cave related activities we located and rescued one castaway and no other individuals were found during our search Noted. Then let's consider the investigation of this cave complete. I hope this experience will prepare you for the challenges inherent to our work. There are lives depending on us. You both did good work today. Well done, Flower and Watchy. I guess we're just going to skip right over the fact that we had to rescue the captain herself. Colin, you look different since the last time I saw you. Did you do something new with your hair? Uh, I don't think so. I've been a bit busy trying to, you know, stay alive. Oh, of course. And good for you. You did it. Well, here she is, the SS Shepherd. Ba -ba! Look, there's a bicycle bell over to the side. And it's sparkly. Let's go. Look at all these, like, crystal things. Is that smoke pouring out of the Shepherd? I'll investigate right away. Famous last words. Status reports. Upon investigating the interior of the ship, I discovered the engine had overheated and that the spaceship was seconds away from total destruction. What? Oh no. Will it be okay? It will. I initiated an emergency shutdown and everything is stable. Thankfully, the engine can be repaired. However, the ship's engine stores are now completely empty, so we have no way of getting off this planet, let alone searching for Captain Olimar. They look so sad. Not necessarily. I think I saw something in Captain Olimar's voyage log that may prove useful. Here it is. Take a look at this. Alright. Voyage log installing. Complete. I found treasure. After a thorough investigation into the shiny objects found on this planet, I have deduced that they must contain sparklium. 
I feel giddy to have found real life treasure, but my focus must remain on my main objective, finding the missing parts of the SS Dolphin. Okay, okay. In layman's terms, we should be able to extract sparkleum from the sparkling objects that we find on this planet and convert it into energy. If they can be used to restart and restore the SS Shepard, those objects truly are nothing short of real life treasures. I'm skeptical, but at this point, we have nothing to lose. This may be our only chance. So from this point on, we have a new mission. Find and collect all the sparkly objects we can. Copy that. A mission, secure energy source. Apparently sparkly objects can be used as an energy source. Locate as many as you can so you can restart the SS Shepard. 300. Okay. Once we collected this treasure, we need a way to transport it. Um, that's where the Pikmin come in. For that, we can use the SS Beagle. Um, oh, okay. So it, like, docks on the top of the ship. We can... We just need a good place for it to land. Huh, what's that over there? That's what I was thinking. It's sparkly. It's so shiny. Maybe it's some sort of landmark, but I'm not completely sure. It looks like the perfect spot for the base of operations. Call the ship over. Alright. Um, SS Beagle repositioning successful. Good. Our preparations are complete. Let's find that treasure. Uh, okay. See anything sparkly around there? Yep, it's right over here. Uh, where'd it go? Oh, I know. Oh, no. Oh, there it is. It's over here. Is this what I think it is? Yes, it's a giant bicycle bell. This has to be a treasure. Just look at the way it sparkles. Let's check the tablet to see if it is emitting a high energy rating. All right, rookie. Press the plus to open the radar map. All right, plus. And radar map. Yes. Presence of sparkleum confirmed. That star is in, in the center represents the treasure. From now on, you can consult your radar map to check if there's any treasure in your area. Cool. Um, excellent work. I'm going to take this as an auspicious... I'm going to take this auspicious start as a good sign. But um, how are we going to move it? Um... Can we get the dog up there? No. What if we have the dog rush at it? Nope. Aha! Pikmin. You can use R to take a look around. Well, maybe I don't want to take a look around. Aha! There's an onion. Onion, onion, onion. We have to get to the onion. Alright, let's rush. Oh no, we don't need to rush. We just need to send him. Yeah, it's a flower. What's this? Uh, is it a treasure? No, it's pigment bush. It's an onion thing. Yeah, go ahead and s whoops, send the dog over here. Actually, that looks more like a tomato. Good job, Wachi. Yay, we got red pigments. Just one. It moved. I don't think it's a treasure. What could it be? It looks like some kind of plant. Could this be the thing Captain Olimar wrote about in his voyage log? He called it an onion. 
if this is an onion, then what is that sprout? It's a Pikmin. It's Pikmin, and I'm going to pick it. I'm going to pick it. It's a Pikmin. <laughs> Red Pikmin. Aw, he's so cute. Oh my, I think this could be a Pikmin, according to Captain Olimar's voyage log. They're friendly and helpful creatures. Well then, maybe they could help us explore and look for treasures. Oh. <laughs> look at that watch, he's already bonding with the Pikmin. You should introduce yourself as well, Flower. <laughs> and, um, Captain, how long do you intend to hide back there? Alright. So, let's go ahead and we shall press A to throw them. Yeah, I know. I, I knew all this. What more sprouts? That red seed... The seed-like thing is apparently called a pellet. If you feed one to the onion, it will create more pigment. What a mysterious life form. It is a mysterious life form. Alright, and then... There's another one over here, right? That's like a fork. Uh, watch you when you're done. Can you go over there too? guys can make quick work of that fork. Excavation complete. So he's like three Pikmin, but yeah, there's more. Um, I guess we can pluck these guys. This treasure is large. How can, how can we physically collect something this big? The ship uses a special type of light ray that miniaturizes objects during collection, so it shouldn't be a problem. I'll examine it with the sensors on the SS Beagle right away. Let's hope it contains the type of men energy we need. Oh, I like the little, like, pixelated boxes. That was cute. Alright, so we have 50 of 300. Wow! If we can collect 250 more units of sparklium, we might be able to restart the SS Shepherd. But the SS Shepherd is supposed to run with a high octane energy. Will this work? I believe we can get it to run on the sparklium alone, though it may be a bumpier ride. But before that can happen, we're going to need a lot more. Then we need to search the area for more treasure. Of course we do. Uh, leave me alone so I can go and gather all my pikamins. Start chucking. Start walking. Walk, 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 walk. Oh. And we'll throw two over here. And then we'll call that guy back. And we'll call that guy back. And we'll run over here. And we'll pick all the pigments. I like that it has where it just plucks them all at once. That's a lot of Pikmin. It is a lot of Pikmin. Oh, there's another one. It's making me a little dizzy. There's like something over there too. Um, okay. So let's go get the rest of the Pikmins. Oh, I hate how it, like, I have to go sideways in order to walk fast. Okay, so where is... Oh, look, there's a flower there. Oh, there's, like, a hard drive up there. Oh, 
Oh, and they automatically follow you, too. You don't have to, like, call them. Oh, except when they're... Not called, I guess? Thanks for your help, uh, Captain and Colin. You guys are doing a great job. Great job with the help. There's too many people following me. Feeling self-conscious. Yeah, I see that too. Oh, okay. Um, X. Um, how do I select... Oh, the right... Okay. Rush. Oh my god, it's gonna fall on you. Get out of the way, everyone. Just stand under it. Oh, it's a Game Boy. That's cute. That was close. Too close. Yeah, I told you all to move. But you all stood there like dummies. Okay, um, so let's... Start chucking these guys. We only need ten, but I like to throw them all. They move faster if you if you throw if you have more full 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 of that carrying it. All right, so now we can go probably and head over to get to that bell thing. New treasure collected. All right. Collect all these guys. Another treasure collected. Okay. So I should be able to just throw the pigment up there. If I can get over there. Jeez, OP. We're almost at 300 units. We got this, and I'm running into walls because I can't see where I'm going. The only way to go fast is to not look forward. Yay! Huzzah! That's what I said. Just a different way. You two make a fantastic combination, flower and watchy. Thanks a bunch. Oop, I mean copy that. Yes, yes, keep up the good work. The pigmen are very obedient. They move and work around like tiny rescue pups. Now it's time to extract the energy from the treasure. Get started right away, Colin. Yay! Energy from the treasure will soon be extracted. It'll flow directly into the SS Shepherd. Pew! <laughs> I like how they're like 8 bit cubes. <laughs> it's so funny. Alright, so we are charging the ship. And now it's going to explode and send pieces everywhere. Oh, look at that. It actually works. The SS Shepherd is running. Yay, we restarted the SS Shepherd using the sparkleum extracted from the treasure. Uh, we did it. The ship's back online. We still don't have enough energy to fly, but now we can use the radar to look for our missing rescue officers. Excellent, Colin. Boot it up and see if we can pick up any signals. I'm picking up multiple SOS signals. They could be coming from our lost rescue officers and even Captain Olimar. Then we don't have a moment to lose. Time to get rescuing. Exploration results day one. Rescues. Two rescues. Sparkleum discovered. 300. That's interesting. The ship is automatically naming the objects. Noble Bident, Stone of Advancement, and Path Creator. That's cool. 
We encounter unknown objects and elements on our mission all the time, so I had a naming AI installed into our new ships. Apparently, it was co-created by a famous appraiser. It's more sophisticated than I expected. Pretty impressive. It is neat, but a backup power source probably would have been more helpful. <laughs> I was worried when I saw the smoke billowing out of the SS Shepherd. I didn't know how things would shake out. Thank goodness we were able to make the repairs. I'd been roughing it for so long, and there's something to be said for finally having a properly prepared meal. And you're sure we have enough emergency rations, Cullen? We have no idea how long we'll be stuck on this planet. I counted our stock three times, but I can do it again. Excellent plan. Now, tomorrow we'll focus on recon so you and Watchy need to eat and get lots of rest, Flower. But don't forget to review your missions before heading to bed. Okay, the SSS signals were discovered. We must be coming from our rescue officers. Come talk to me as soon as you're ready. Um, if we're going to restore the SS Shepherd's radar, we need to go out and get more sparklium. Alright. Oh, I see you've used a pin. I didn't mean to use the pin, I was trying to back out. So then I guess I don't need to tell you that it's easy as selecting mission and pressing A to pin it and unpin it. I commend your instincts. Pinning a mission is a great way to keep track of your objections and your projects. Pin. Alright, sure. I didn't mean to pin it, it just happened. Am I recording? Oh my gosh. Actually, I think I will end this episode here. If you like this episode, please click the like button, subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this one. And remember to always stay weird because weirdos rule. Thank you for watching my Pikmin video. Um, I'm really excited to be playing, in case you couldn't tell. I will see you in the next episode. Bye! Where's my mouse?